Hey, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to OP80. In the last episode, we unlocked OP level 2, uh, I think. And at least we also uh, did a bit of the pirate, pirate DLC, all the way up to the part in which we can farm Toothless Terry. Uh, this is where we'll uh, stop the DLC for now. And at OP8, we'll continue to get uh, to be able to farm mission rewards like the Pimpernel and the Sandhog. Also, we did already find two new Pimpernels, so we did find a level 72 corrosive one with eh, not the greatest parts and no prefix. And we also found a slag one at OP2 with the melee accessory and a Vlad of uh, grip. So we'll probably be using that for the peak. Uh, I do still want to find a new corrosive one in case we get down and fight for our life. But if we can manage with a level 51, we can probably manage with a level 72 one as well. But I don't want to be 100% reliant on the B shield this time. <clears throat> Now, of course, we can also find uh, fire and shock uh, pimpernels. And honestly, I have never used this uh, shock pimpernel so far. I think I haven't had to use it. Uh, I, pro I won't be needing it in the future. So that's probably the worst part to get. Although we don't have an actual slag, uh, shock weapon to kill surveyors with at the moment. So it wouldn't be the, like awful, but uh, not great. But let's first get him to drop a uh, Pimpernel at all. And then we'll see about uh, if we get lucky or not. Now we could also go with a melee build for the last uh, for the next few peak levels, but that means having to form a good melee shield, so probably like the big thumper. Uh, also farming a decent chain lightning to strip our shields with, and also, well. That's it, actually. But now that we have uh, unlocked this Pimpernel farm, I think it's probably easier to just farm only the Pimpernel and then continue again, so we don't have to waste a lot of time farming for melee gear. Now let's kill him with the uh, Corrosa Pimpernel this time. Because the Snyder isn't working out too great. Yeah, this is faster. Didn't see a drop. That's because he didn't drop anything. Oh well. We'll just be on our way to the new farm. To, well, not a new one. To start over, I guess.
We haven't actually tried to take on the peak at OP2, so maybe we should dead at first before we before we get a new Pimpernel, but oh well. It's 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 fun for now. Uh that didn't trigger him. Now it did. Ah, he jumped earlier this time. Hey, that looks like a blue weapon. That is definitely a blue weapon, but it might not be the Pimpernel. Oh, Dandy Pimpernel. So that's full damage, which is quite good to kill surveyors with. Uh, with a Mali 1 grip. Wow, that's a pretty good one. But yeah, it is Shock, and as I said, Shock is probably the one we need the least. But it's very nice to kill surveyors with, so that's, uh, that's going to be great. Did we already drop the invader? Yes, we did. Good. All right. Um, should we try to do the peak again? Is the question. Let's kill two Flusteri at least once more. See if we get lucky. And also, I'm going to use the Shock Pimpernel to kill him. Yeah, so pretty nice. 258,000 damage per pellet. Of course, this is the Dendi prefix, so that gives it more uh, more damage. It sounded like I picked up something, but that was a chain lightning grenade re regenerating ammo. So the plan is to reach OP level 4, maybe OP level 5, with uh, without too much farming. And after that we'll probably f farm a bit of raid bosses for a good uh, transfusion grenade. Or we may, be, we may get lucky from Pyro Pete himself, he can drop the slag of negative. But uh, it's time for some changes, you know, and uh, it's not all about doing the peak as fast as you can. So let's keep that in mind. But I just don't want to farm for stuff too early, because otherwise you'll have to farm for it in a few levels later. Wow, his rockets are extremely slow. Alright, he died. Well, that's obvious, but he didn't drop anything. <laughs> Obviously he died. Uh, you know what, let's try to peek again. I want to see if we can get reach OP level 3 already. I think we can. So that means uh, equipping the Hive as the second wind weapon. We have this Pimpernel now as our damage dealer instead of the level 51. Nice lot of grip. And we'll keep the level 50 slag one because it's just nice to have fast reload rates on this. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, of course, the Corrosive Bone of the Ancients, and then the Magic Missile. Still no uh, Legendary Sniper class. You know what? Let's go to the Badlands. Let's do one run on the Skags. Uh, we should probably equip the... Snyder again then. We might just get lucky and find a tubby. You know, we gotta keep trying because eventually we, we're gonna need that uh, class calm. Now, actually, I would prefer a sniper class calm at level 72. Okay, no tubbies. Because then it wouldn't deplete too much of my shield. So let's do a strategic bump down in levels and hope we find a uh, tubby with the correct class call because don't forget like there's a minus capacity uh, 
factor on the sniper comms. And if you ha if you have a high level class comm, it will deplete way more of your shield. And of course the stats can be better, but the difference between a good 72 comm and a good 70, uh, like good OV OP8 comm isn't worth all that minus capacity in the shield. To me, at least. Okay, no, no tubbies. <laughs> and we are back in the most dreaded spots from this playthrough. down so damn that charge no tubby So because we don't get XP anymore from this, <laughs> I'm way less tempted to kill every enemy this time. And also, less tempted to go to Saturn. Especially at level 72. There's no need. And no use. No tubbies here. Now in this rate it's way faster uh, to find tubbies of course than what we did to level up and hopefully it won't take us too long to find a tubby. <laughs> I'm sorry at first I was like yeah let's take on the peak but then I remembered yeah it's the sooner we get this uh, sniper comb the better we are off so or the better off we are whatever you want to say. Why am I still killing these guys? I don't know. It's very easy with our level OP2B. Tubby once again. Hopefully we'll get like two in one run or something, because we're gonna need that. We have had so much trouble getting the legendary sniper comb to drop. Whoa, junk loading. Why am I still killing these? 
I guess I'm just a bit bored. Just save quitting over and over again isn't too much fun. Killing stuff is a bit more fun in this game. Although I was hoping for more skags to spawn after I killed a few. Which normally they do, but maybe they already spawned, I don't know. Rabid, a few fossils. Okay, we got two more to spawn. Let's see if they are tubbies. They are not. Which means that we can reset. I'm looking forward to killing Pyro Pete soon, but for that we need a Shock Layuda and a Trespasser. Oh, it's a Fosso. I, for a moment I thought it was a Tabby. Whoa, lots of fossils actually. <laughs> These guys are ancient by now. Okay, I'm very sorry for that joke. Oh my god. Could have also made like a Pokemon reference. To Omanite or uh, Kabutops. If you guys remember that from like all the way back when we played Pokemon Blue and Yellow. There's so many more fossils now, I, I, I couldn't tell. I never kept up with all the new releases of Pokemon. Like, I remember when there was like years ago they released Black and White and it was already like 800 Pokemons in total. Like, I just remember the, the first Pokedex with 150, or 152, I believe, technically. Although, I did play a lot of uh, Pokemon Silver and Emerald as well. And especially, like, the, the remake of, like, Fire Red was really cool, because after you completed that, you could get, like, the, uh, the Pokemons from Pokemon Silver and Gold. Which included Tyranitar. And Tyranitar has always been one of my favorites because he is so strong. And if you don't know anything about Pokemon or haven't played it ever, that's too bad because you really missed out on something. And I'm not talking about Pokemon Go. Although I did do that a bit on the release of that as well, but that quickly died off after like two weeks or so. The interest. Although it did get me outside quite a lot, so that's something that uh, was cool, I guess. Like, I've never seen so many people being happy all together and going outside on the street, talking with each other, like as friends or like as, as strangers, doesn't matter. Once you saw they were also hunting Pokemon, you were like, hey, cool, what do you have? And like, just, you know, it, it, it really helped uh, people to uh, go outside and socialize a bit more which is interesting because it's it is about a game on your phone and yeah most of the time you saw people just walking down the street just with their heads all the way down in their phone screen but that's that's like the the, the some of the people but a lot of the other people were just playing a bit more regular like me, were like, hey cool, I also play it, let's, uh, you know, let's actually talk and not just look at the screen. And I think that's what the game was meant for anyways, right? To go outside and go together and defeat gyms simultaneously. Such a cool uh, idea it was. Actually it still exists and there's still people playing it, but... I don't see myself playing it uh, anymore. I just didn't like the way you had to uh, battle in that game. So catching the Pokémon is cool, but eventually you wanna you wanna train them, you know. You wanna you wanna teach them good skills. You wanna 
uh, like have good moves on them and that's something you could only do in the in the real games not in the Pokemon Go now in the meantime we're still killing uh, Skags of course as you can see and I'm still hoping for that tubby that drops the legendary sniper con which so far has been a myth Oh man, and a shark or skag. Okay, never mind. Actually, let's t look, take a look around. No tubbies. Let's leave. Don't even bother with those elemental ones. Viridium, nice. Well, some, actually, quite a lot. Four. Ultimate badass shark, okay. And a rabbit next to it, hell no. Imagine if I had forgot to put on the uh, the patch again with my mods that only drop uh, uh, zero uh, class mods, and then c finally finding a tubby, and then it turns out to drop a uh, like a legendary anarchist mod or something. That would suck. But so far, every tubby that I've killed after 62 has dropped me a uh, wait. Oh no. Has dropped me a legendary mod. So I hope we can keep that up, at least. Because there's a possibility for them to just drop like the Whiskey Tangle Fox Strut Shield, or uh, the Cracked Sash is even worse, or the Bunny. Although the patch might have moved the Bunny away from Tubby Loot Pools after 62 and moved them uh, into the. What is his name again? Mr. Bony Pants guy. Although that wouldn't make very much sense for people that don't own the DLC, because they wouldn't be able to get the bunny anymore. But then again, who wants the bunny? It's, it's such a bad rocket launcher. Yak and Barbed. Well, at least we already found a good uh, new Pimpernel with pretty much perfect parts to kill surveyors with. And you know, being able to kill surveyors better is a blessing. Well, yes, a blessing. <laughs> I was about to say blessing in disguise, but no, it's just a blessing. Oh, for a moment I hope that rabbit was stuck on the left. No more spawns it seems. Yep, that's gonna deal with all these rabbits. Now known to me. 
I think this is it again, right? None there. Oh man, oh man. Well, the next tubby that we find better drop a uh, <laughs> both a legendary calm and a pearlescent, because uh, this is uh, crazy. Wow, there was like a few rabbits in there, but they died very quickly. Of course, they all stacked up, so uh, boar becomes a, a threat. There is our tubby. Finally. Awesome. And all pups. That's nice. Okay, it, do it did drop a legendary class call. Let's find out if it's a good one. Sniper! Yes! And level 72 as well, of course. Oh, thank god we found it! Yes! Okay, let's... Uh, make some space here. Oh, man. That is so good. Look at that. The, the passive bonuses are amazing. Of course, the shield capacity is quite a bit higher now. But it's only 72 and not OP2. And look at the skills it boosts. So fast hands, even better uh, weapon swap speed and reload speed. Very good for slagging people and enemies. Um, well, this doesn't make any difference. This, we still have it. And also these two we already had, but even more bonuses now. We only had this at plus three and this at plus four. And this we didn't even have, so such a cool upgrade, such a good upgrade, I would should say. And the passive bonuses are way better. Like, the previous one had uh, 35 and 31, 15% better for both. That's a lot. So, thank you very much, I can finally drop this, but it served us very well from level 50 to OP2. We're gonna have to say goodbye to that one, and this one we will probably sell as well honestly because we only want the one shot sniper for six plus one shot one one skill uh, one kill to use the trespasser with on the pyro pete for example although on the patch the trespasser got buffed which means that you don't even have to go for the one shots class mod Oh, finally guys, we got the legendary sniper class mod. It's so good. Oh. We got it. So back to OP2. Such a relief. And also let's uh, clean up our inventory a little bit. We're carrying loads of class comms. The squad is only level 71 now, so we at OP2 are probably not going to use that anymore. We haven't, but especially not in the future. Okay, so Ninja Killer Hunter, that's all the ones we need and we want to keep. This we can sell and that. Well, this one's just plain out better, right? We don't need those uh, small ch changes. One shot sniper. I don't think we will need it actually, honestly. But I'll keep it in case we have to use it to take off Pyro Pete's face mask with. Now 68, it still heals us decently well, so and it still slags, so let's keep that still for the uh, assassins. 
Let's see if we have some iridium to spend. Not enough yet. Let's do the raids and digits are peak again. I don't think we need another uh, Pimpernel yet, now that we have the new Sniper class gone. Ah, feels so good. Legendary Sniper. Also looks very good. So this is gonna be a long episode, but uh, we're gonna do this as well. The third gauntlet. Let's go! Let's not forget to equip a corrosive bone of the ancients though. <laughs> that is something important. Also, we don't need the Snyder, but we will need this uh, Pimpernel for killing surveyors. Uh, we could switch to the level OP2 Pimpernel for slag. But I don't think we need to. I'd rather have the fast reload speed and uh, magazine size. I think. Okay, so no enemies that spawn on the bridge. Uh, that's an annoying enemy. But we one shot him with death mark. Okay, a rabbit skag. Let's not waste too much ammo on that. Yep, there he goes. Wait, did we not slag him? I don't think we did. Yeah, this weapon swap speed is amazing. And the reload speed, of course. Thanks, legendary sniper calm. Is that a surveyor? I think it is. Yes. And we one-shot it. So this is the surveyor peak. There's gonna be lots of surveyors everywhere. I remember this spawn. And of course, surveyors are the worst enemies by far. Especially like super badass ones or ultimate badass ones. An ambush. What, this is Skag? very smoothly let's waste no time and continue on very nice that we got that spider sepper as well Or Sepper Spider. Okay, so we did lose the B-Shield, but because we have a level 72 weapon now, we can still continue to shoot without having the boost. And the cooldown rates on our uh, activatable or not reception. Pretty low. Uh, I mean, the oh ships, <laughs> ships really? Did I just? Oh. Okay, we got that one off. Let's 
Because rabbits can still cause a bit of annoyance. For sure. I have figured that out, thank you very much. But maybe we can lure them in. No, well. more surveyors so let's lure them in once again oh we already did that apparently and this little guy okay we're quite a bit low on ammo now but also these guys. They're all slag resistant, apparently. But Q and I still works on them. Oh no. Ah, there's one more surveyor. Two more. Let's lure them in with that low one. Okay, I think that's all the surveyors. As you can see, it still takes quite a bit of effort to kill a rabbit skunk. But we didn't go down, so that's good. to fight Scorch again in the next area. And that is where we spawned in this area. That's where you start. That's the... Well, where Tennis is, basically. Scorch is permanently on fire due to subtle iridium mutation. I have failed to replicate this power for myself. So on the upside, most of my torso is now covered in third degree burns. How is that an upside again, Tannis? Oh, yep, he had his butt faced towards me for a bit. Very generous of him. Killed him with the slack for now. So far, this is going really well. These bandits are the insane remnants of Doll's original slave labor on Pandora. Come to think of it, so am I. 
Okay, I don't want to explode running at me. Ooh, I should have kept the Maniac alive on low HP. That was my bad. Because now the Surveyor... Well... It's still not too much of a problem, apparently. Okay, that's a big surveyor over there. Two, actually. As I said, this is the surveyor peak. Um, yes, they do hurt, so let's do this. Ah, I wanted to get them both. Uh, we did. Some ammo. <laughs> that will do. And just don't pick up the snow onions, they're explosives. And uh, they will kill you. Most of the time. Whoa. That is an RPG loader. Okay, he's dead. But there's another one. He's also dead. You can't be safe enough around these guys. Quickly dealt with those. And there's another one. Skillfully dodged him though. Now if we can get this guy low, the surveyor will come and repair him. Or he will come up behind me apparently. Perfect. Bonehead was so named because he did not know the word for skull. Interesting story. Bonehead, a very easy enemy to kill. Just look out for his post-mortem grenades. That set me on fire like this. This is why I did the uh, inner fate to regen uh, health. Uh, all right. I do want to restore some more health still. And let's wait a little bit. So we have our deception back when we get into the next area. And then I could also take a nice stretch that I just did. Take a stretch, do a stretch. Wow, here's something new. A spider tanks and a surveyor. And oh. Okay, let's uh, have them in the air like this. Yep. 
yeah, I'm definitely exploiting the AI like this. Because surveyors are the worst of the worst. Okay, that's a rabbit skag. You know what we're gonna do. Well, don't uh, knock ourselves off the cliff, of course. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's already dead. Didn't need to slag him. Nice. All right, so we are uh, pretty much at the last part again. Got the Snyder for ammo. Now the assassins might be a little bit harder this time. Probably will. Sergeant Loader, Warloader. The Warloader is more priority, but... Oh, the Surveyor is more... Okay, well, they're dead. <laughs> Just killed them all, I guess. The dirty rat. Indeed. Pretty much maxed on ammo, should be good. Also with grenades, also with health. So let's see how we will do on the assassins. That is a dangerous sniper rifle. Wow! He just turned around immediately. Uh, did I slack myself? I think I did. I don't know how. No, 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 please, come on. I need to kill that. Okay, he's gonna come in. Perfect. Oh dear. Okay. Man, he got healed so much by that surveyor. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to call him back like that. And now we end him. Alright, that went pretty smoothly so far. There's another surveyor. Yeah, this is a pretty tough one. Also, I completely missed all my slag there. Oh dear. Oh dear, this is not good. How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. I disappear. Throwing grenade. All right, that was so scary. Wait, come on, please die already. Nice. 
Hey, Hydra T Emperor, I think. Legendary submachine gun. No, the Framington's Edge. With the Mother One Grip. Oh, that's OP3. Oh, we also got the Dog. So that's another uh, unique. With Hyperion Grip. And we also got this one, the Stoic Emperor. I thought I saw that. Alright, this was pretty uh, tough, man. These last fight on the uh, assassins. I'm not gonna lie. The surveyors are really, really scary. Especially with no cover at all. But we did it, so we reached OP3. Uh, we did use a little bit of the hive, uh, and it worked out perfectly to lure in the uh, surveyors. So that worked out great. Thanks, hive. Oh yeah, turn it. Okay. I may have just lied to you. Matching grip, but blasters are awful. Cool. Let's save, quit, and start uh, OP3 uh, soon. But first, we're gonna end this episode right here, because it's been quite a long episode so far, and um, yeah, there's lots of stuff to do for new episodes. So uh, we'll start the next one in OP3 and get going then. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.